Hello, I'm Toluani from English and Technology and today I will be showing you two ways you can stop your students or your meeting participants in Microsoft Teams when they are muting one another or they are removing one another in your meetings. So let's get started. So here I am on my desktop and I am in Microsoft Teams and let's pretend that I'm the teacher here and I currently have two students in this lesson. I have this student, I have the other student as well. So these two students are known to be troublemakers. Sometimes they kick other students out of the meeting. Sometimes they mute other students in my class. So now I'm gonna jump over into the student view so we can see how the students do what they know how to do best. So this student now can see the list of the people in the meeting. So the students can click on a student name, right clicking on the name, the student has a lot of control. If this other student's microphone is not muted, this student can mic the mic of the other student. The student can also remove this other student from the meeting. So let's say the class is going on. So this particular student can just go to the list and remove everyone from the meeting or mute them as well. And this is definitely not interesting for every teacher. So this meeting is already going on and I notice this student has been removing people or muting people. How do I prevent that? So I'm going to go back into the teacher's view. So this is my view as a teacher. And here you see all the participants in my list. We are listed as the presenter. So what you can do is if I right click on the student, I have the option to make the student an attendee. So to ask me to confirm if I really want to do that. And uh, you can see the text here it says this controls who can share content, who can mute people, who can remove people in the meeting. So I'm going to click on change to make her an attendee. So she won't be able to do any of this. So now once you notice this now, you can see that we have two separate headers. The first header is presenters. So we have a new header called attendees and that's where the student I just added is now. So I'm going to right click on the other student and then make her uh, an attendee as well. So I'm going to go ahead and change her as an attendee. So now let's go back into the student view so we see if the student will still be able to do what they could do. So now this student is now clicking on the student's name, right clicking now. Let's see now if the option will come. No, no, no. The option is no more there. No option to mute, no option to remove. In fact, the only thing this student can do is just to listen. In fact, this student can no longer share either screen or because this, this student is no longer a presenter. This is a very good way to control meeting while a lesson is going on. Now, but um, the problem here is, the trouble here is that if you have so many students, like 15, 20, 30 or 40, it might take time for you to it might take time for you to make every individual an attendee or make them presenter. It might take time. It can even be distracting as well. So there is a way, the second way for you to do that. So you can do that when you are setting up your meeting from the beginning. So I'm going to click to leave this meeting right now. So now I'm going to go into the calendar view now. So clicking on the calendar from the menu. So I'm going to click on the meeting. You can also see the meeting in your channel post. Now here you see all of the meeting options here. And the one I really care about is the one that says meeting option up here. So I'm going to click on meeting options. So the meeting option will take you out of the app. It takes you to the browser. So on the browser now you're going to see this um, by default you see um, who can bypass the lobby. So I'm going to change that to only me. That means the student have to wait in the lobby before they can start. They can just get into the meeting and start discussing and start doing unnecessary things just in before the lesson should start properly. So I'm going to put that as only me. Now the really the 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 option that we really care about is the one that says who can present so i'm going to set that to be only me you can also set it to be on specific people if you have some students or maybe a teacher like me that i want him or her to also control things in the meeting i can select those people but for now i want to be the only one to control things in this meeting so i'm going to make it only me then i just click on save So now we are good. Now I will be the only one to control things in this meeting now. So now I'm going to jump back into the meeting now. So now I click on join. 
now when i click on the participant list i see them automatically the presenter and the students are automatically set as attendees so if this is a problem in your organization or maybe your school setting the meeting option like i just did earlier before the meeting starts is a very good way so everyone just comes everyone comes in as an attendee so these students cannot present they can share their screen they can mute they can remove anyone in the meeting i do hope you find this video very helpful if you do please subscribe to english and technology and please like this video and kindly share the link as well thank you